How's it going? This is Brian from Bees Music Shop, and I'm here at the Anaheim 2024 NAMM Show, and I'm here with Doug Cower of Doug Cower Guitars, or Cower Guitars. Guitars. And you have the best pink oh, well, of all time. I have a rule. When I do the showcase, I must bring the most obnoxiously bright guitars, and I feel like we accomplished the mission again. It's it's. I have, I've been delighted ever since I've seen it. I, I, I told you I was feeling a little down. I've been doing some stuff and running around, and my energy was low, and I just saw him again and popped right back. Well, that's a cup it. of coffee of a color. Hey, that's mission accomplished. I love it. <laughs> awesome. So why don't you take us down? Let's yeah. talk about all your guitars. I want, to, I want to know about them. So let's, I'll, I'll run real quick. Super Chief Corona, ripping the new thing, Electroliner Banshee. So this is my Super Chief model, and this is our big semi-hollow. In all the years I've been doing this, this is still my favorite thing I've ever designed. Uh, I try not to keep too much of what I make. I have five of these. It's getting yeah. kind of out of control. But, it's, you know, 24, three-quarter scale. It's mostly hollow. It's kind of a combination between, like, trestle bracing and a center block. It's kind of a combination of both. We can make it in a bunch of different versions with different pickup layouts. Anytime I do pickups in a pick guard, we route semi-universal or four-long universal because... I like doing weird stuff, so that's super chief. It's usually maple, maple, mahogany core, mahogany neck. And then this is my Corona model. And this came out, honestly, the solid body version right at the start of the pandemic. And we kind of jokingly like, well, we should just call it the Corona, but it's a telly inspired thing. So yeah. it kind of fit Corona the city. Um, we also did, so the semi hall is new. The one thing about this is when we brought this out, we were watching Friends Businesses Implode, all the, all the props. Oh my God, yeah, we ended up so doing bizarre. $150,000 in fundraising through charity by people making direct donations and we were giving them coronas. Oh, wow. Because they incredible. kept us afloat. We wanted to give back. So this is kind of a fun one, though. The semi hall is new, like end of last year. It's almost a baby super chief. And the rose print is it's actually kind of a fun thing. It's like a direct graphic print under the clear. And then nice. we reverse it on the pick guard and like pull out, use a hat trick that takes will take all of the 200 minutes remaining under camera to explain. But that's really fun. I like doing it. Looks it looks cool. It looks great. Yeah, yeah the so pick we, guard is so part of it. It's yeah, terrible. basically the graphic is on the backside reversed, and then we kind of line it all up and then figure out how to cut it so it lines up correctly. So yeah, no, I, I thought at first it was just clear, but yeah, when you start to look at it, it's very yeah, very it's well it's done. still a bathtub, and like that way you still can't see the controls and the pots and the wiring and stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. makes sense. So that's newish. It's you know, oh, it's beautiful. The flame in that neck is yeah. great. So I really, I think of everything we make, this model in particular is kind of our best utility guitar. Everything's kind of right where you want it. We can make it a bunch of different ways. It's super fun. So I love them. I think this is my favorite one. This is for me. Yeah. So this is brand new. This came out here at NAMM. Oh my uh, God. It's kind of a fun, dumb story. So I famously cannot draw by hand. I am a, I can't draw guitars. I can't draw anything by hand. I'm awful at it. Everybody in the shop makes fun of me for it. And last year, my, my oldest kid was 10 at the time. He's like, Dad, draw a guitar for me. And I was like, fine. And I drew basically this. And like I literally texted the group work chat. I'm like, guys, it's a guitar I drew that you can't make fun of me for. And it kind of just sat in my head for the last year. And then we have an open house every year. And so the day after, we're kind of putting the shop back together. I was like, I'm just going to sit and draw this thing. And it came together really quickly. And it's built on the same blank as Banshee. So it's actually neck through, uh, nice. mahogany neck through, mahogany wings. Um, it's I kind of also, when I started drawing, I was like, Banshee, which is our stalwart, it's kind of inched up quite a bit in price over the last few years because we use really expensive specialty hardware for it. And so I was like, I don't want to use, you know, $200 banjo set. I want to use, you know, hip shots. Good stuff still, but try to get this at like what Banshee was priced at a few years ago. So these are coming around 3700 now, and I'm really happy. I'm really excited about it. That's a great guitar, man. You know, the, the whole thing. And so that's called Grippin. And then this is our redheaded stepchild of the shop. This is our Electroliner model. It's the one guitar that I always forget to tell people we make. Um, so this version's a little different with the ballon top and the rose print again. Most of them are kind of more stratty, you know, yeah, contours yeah. and stuff. But yeah, I just had, when I committed to the pink, I really wanted to bring this. I was like, it kind of messes up the look though. So we kind of did this as an idea. Are, what are those pickups? They're so cool. Again. These are new from Waller. I don't know I if they're on the site pickups. yet. 
These are so cool. We saw them on their Instagram. I'm like, what are those? Why don't I have those? And I think they're basically, I think they're, they call them the Melody 90. I think it's like a lap steel, like their Chicago steel. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Yeah, yeah, I think it's like that base and magnet with a P90 bobbin. They're so, honestly, I like their P90s, but I love, they're very close, but whatever the little difference is, I like these way more. I just picked up a set of their gold foil P90s, yeah. and I was like, I love so this pickup. It's so good. Yeah, I love their These, pickups. It's kind of nice for us, to again, because it's the bathtub route. We can fit oddball stuff in it. They know I'm always game for that. Yeah, so. and it, and it fits the aesthetic of the of the, the flowers and stuff. It, it just it seems like a and, weird thing for what looks like an 80s super strat to put P90s in it, but it looks it, right. It, it, it sounds even, right. To me, pop like an eight. It almost has like a Japanese uh, yeah. import vibe in a, in a really like high-end way it's great so yeah exactly so this one we also did the solid wenge neck which Ooh. we don't usually do just thought it'd be fun kind of but it's gonna be the forgotten child i might as well have fun with what it are those i didn't I, those are cool how the hip shots i guess yep. I, i'm not used to those with the, the open back new. yeah that's really with I'm, with the locking that's cool it helps shave a little bit of weight on that end and then the, so that you can still have the lock and not the penalty on the weight so i feel like with tuning machines i'm always seeing a tuning machine i haven't seen and that seems impossible <laughs> yeah to like fathom that i haven't seen all of them and then i'm like whoa it's locking <laughs> and open yeah wild because wow. there's the same ones on this guy too and so yeah that's cool i uh and this is Banshee, which we've made forever and ever and ever, and it's still the stalwart of what we make. And so it's, this one's actually a deluxe technically, so it's, you know, mahogany neck through, mahogany wings. But the deluxe is actually have a maple top. So this just happened to have a plain maple top on it. It is sonically quite a bit different. That's why I do like the deluxe. Uh, and then, yeah, I mean, this is what everybody plays from us. and That's great. I mean, Nightmare Barbie Pink, man. I love it. I love it. it. Yep. It's, it's, uh. Like I said, everybody in the showcase is more talented than me, so I just compete on being obnoxious. I don't think that's <laughs> true. I don't think. I love these it's, guys. They're, no, all they're also, it's it's like, there's so many rabbit holes, and it's so infinitely fun to ask them questions about what they do, oh. because, like, you know they spend the rest of the time just, like, tiny problems, and they're solving them in ways I'm like, man, it's so cool. Honestly, I, I come home from NAMM every year, no boys, you know, I'm nonstop. There. And then at the end of them, I'm like, did I meet new people or did I just nerd talk with our friends for four days straight? Yeah. And it's somewhere in between, but yeah. It's fun. We do that. We're, we're trying this year. We're trying to go. If we've talked to them before, let's try and not just go to like the people. <laughs> There's so many people I liked it. I'm like, let's just yep. do the round of all our friends. I'm like, ah, oh, I want to meet some new yep. people. But yeah. it's so hard. There's so many great people in this industry. And in this booth, I mean, it's such like a brotherhood of people here. Yeah. That's it's, so cool. It's amazing. I mean, some of these guys, like, so this is from the very first guitar show I ever did 15 yeah. years ago. And some of these guys I've known that long from yeah. that show. And we all help each other out and take care of each other. So, so fun. Well, hey, appreciate you talking yeah, to me. Yeah, thank you so thank much. You. Yeah, thank you guys.